What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today I'm gonna be filming a video that I'm more excited to make than any other disc golf video I've made before. And that is a video about the battle of the best mid-range on the market. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that I've been bagging a purple ESP Buzz. It was actually one of the first discs I ever got. It was in my very first order. And it has been my favorite in the hand field disc of all time. And definitely my favorite mid-range. But if you guys are familiar with disc golf down under, one day at a tournament, he let me throw his hex. And I gotta say, I was blown away by the handful I absolutely the hex feels so good in the hand and this is nothing against the buzz I absolutely love the way the buzz feels in the hand when I put my hand in this I was like I'm home <laughs> I found my home my only issue with the hex was that it was a little too flippy in comparison to the buzz I like the buzz because not only the hand feel but it was point and shoot it might have a little bit of turn a little bit of fade but it's gonna go dead straight the hex was a little understable what they've done is put it in the Eclipse plastic. If you're familiar with MVP plastics, the Eclipse plastic makes it a little more stable, which is why I bag an Eclipse Envy. So today we're gonna find out, does it fly like the Buzz now in the new plastic? And we're gonna find out which one of these discs is the better option, or is there a reason to bag both? Trust me, I am dying to find a reason to bag both of these discs. I would love to bag both of them. First of all, this pink McBeast disc, I mean, is that not one of the most beautiful things you've ever laid your eyes on? And then you got this Lozada, one of the dopest stamps in the game. I want both of these discs in my bag. Let's find out if that's possible. So these two discs are actually gonna battle it out over two videos. This video, I'm just gonna show you guys the pure flights of them. I'm gonna try to throw the same exact lines, Anheuser, flat, and hyzer. And then I'm also gonna do like a max distance toss with both of them. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because in the second video, I'm gonna do a five hole battle between both of these. One disc only, Buzz versus Auto, which one's best? But for now, we're gonna test the flights of these. I'm gonna throw both of these on a nice hyzer line and which one holds the hyzer better if they hold it about the same. We're gonna start off with the Buzz. Nice hyzer, held that really well actually. I feel like that did slightly flip up a little bit more, but that also could have been because I threw it a little nose up. They seem like they're over there in the same exact spot. So I measured that out. The buzz went 288 feet, the hex went 304 feet. Now mind you, we do have a little bit of a swirling wind right now. It seems to be coming right to left. So for a hyzer shot, that probably did help push them a little bit more further left than normal. And I'm also not throwing these nowhere near 100%, just a nice and easy little toss. All right, let's try flat. That wind is picking up a bit. Slightly nose up. And then you can see that right to left wind at the end because it was a little nose up and then it started to fade out. That wind just pushed it a little bit. All right, let's give the hex a toss on flat. I feel like I rounded a little bit on that. Might have came out on a smidge and a smidge. I mean, that went pretty dead straight. Just ranged those up. On that one, the hex went 287 and the buzz actually went 290. I'm honestly quite surprised how, I guess, not far these are going because we have a hole on this course that I'm at right now that's 315 feet uphill and I always use my buzz on it and I get there pretty comfortably. But right now I'm struggling on flat ground to get over 300 feet with these. But this isn't a distance competition. I'm not throwing them super hard. On the last throws, I will get on these and do a bit more of a max distance line. But let's do the... Anheuser line next. I mean, I'm not the best at throwing Anheuser shots. It did hold that Anheuser. Let's try the hex. I got that on Anheuser, but it's also just like a bit nose up. Still held that line though. Still held the line pretty well, even though it was real floaty nose up. That says a lot though. Like I threw it nose up on Anheuser. A lot of this, even though you threw it on Anheuser, if you throw it nose up, it'll still come out of that. That held it pretty well. Oddly enough, those actually both went 255 feet on the dot each. So they went the exact same distance. However, the buzz was pretty much dead straight on from where I threw, whereas the hex was much further off to the right. That could have been more of just a line hitting issue than the actual discs themselves. But I'm gonna be 110% honest with you. Right now, these, to me, seem like they're flying the exact same. They're going the same distances. They're ending up in pretty much the same exact spot. So now I'm gonna do the big boy test. I'm gonna really, really rip on both of these discs and see how far they go. And then afterwards, as an extra bonus, I'm even gonna do a forehand with each of these. Now you guys know I'm not the best forehand person. However, I think it'll be good to give a little representation of how both of these handle the torque of a forehand. It turned over, didn't come back. I might have put a smidge of Annie on that. I'll have to watch it back. Try the hex. I 
feel like I didn't get on that one quite as much. And after watching both of those, I feel like I definitely had to have put both of them on a bit of Anheuser. Let's go see how far they went. The rangefinder showing 314 feet on the dot for, for both of these again. So they went the same exact distance. This time the hex ended up pretty straight on from where I threw and the buzz ended up quite a bit more turned over. It wasn't drastic. They were still 25 feet away from each other, but they went the same exact distance from where I threw. It's getting harder and harder to see a difference between these two. I think literally the only differences that are happening right now, like slight changes in the wind and slight changes in my throw. Like I've, I've only been playing seven months. I'm not a robot. I can't throw these exactly the same both times. However, I think they're flying very, very, very similarly. Let's wrap this off by throwing a forehand each and seeing how they handle the torque. Start with the buzz again. I'm going to put these on a little touch of hyzer just because I tend to get a little bit of wobbles. I'll probably bring them up to flat. Otherwise, my luck, I'd bur just burn them over. Yep. Flipped up just enough to flat, turned a little bit, ended up slightly left of where I threw, but almost dead straight. Try the hex. That one burnt over a little more, but I think that also had more wobbles. I think that's just me again. But I've also had people tell me that buzzes and those those straight mid ranges aren't necessarily the best discs for forehands. They're not the most torque resistant. But I mean, they seem to handle it all right. All right, y'all, that is going to wrap up video one of the comparison battle between the MVP Hex and the new Six Claw Paul Macbeth Buzz. Let me know, did you guys see a difference between these two discs? I'm going to be honest, they fly like the exact same to me. I know a regular Hex is going to be more understable than a Buzz, but I just think this Eclipse Glow Plastic that MVP makes is just stable enough that it, it, like they're neck and neck it's really going to come down to personal preference honestly might just bag both of them for the times where i'm just like playing casually and i want to throw two of the same shot well here's two of the same exact shot to me that being said if these fly the exact same and i give the hand feel preference to the lazado i feel like the lazado has to take it then right i don't know i still love the hand feel of the buzz just because i like the hex hand feel more it doesn't take anything away from the buzz hand feel it's still a great flying disc and with this sick color i don't think there's any way i I can't put it in the bag it's got to stay let me know down in the comments if either of these discs is going to be making your bag i'm very curious which one do you think i should bag i don't know which one to go with i think it's going to be both if you guys like the video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you want to see more make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content because i'm about to go do five holes mono a mono buzz versus lazado and we're really going to bang it out see which one's better and you don't want to miss it so make sure you smash that subscribe button and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace <laughs>